Hello everybody, welcome to the channel and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to get basically a free Tesla solar roof. Uh, we're going to go through uh, you know, my house layout, the size of the roof, we're going to go into what the roof cost, we're going to go into uh, the discounts associated with the roof and then uh, you know come to our official number at the end and then uh, we figured out uh, how long it actually takes to pay it off and what you kind of like make from it because for me at least this is the first time that you buy a roof and it essentially pays you usually you think of roofs as all right well I got 10 years or 15 years on this until I got to put a, you know, put the money out to buy a new one but now we're in a world where I have 25 years on this of electrical production that's going to pay me so let's get into it <laughs> All right, starting off, what everybody wants to know, uh, the roof size behind me. Uh, the house is approximately 1,800 square feet, but the roof itself is about 2,300 square feet, thanks to the very long uh, you know, front roof here that you see behind me, which you know, houses the majority of the PV solar tiles for the Tesla solar roof. So those are the actual solar tiles. Uh, now, the size of this roof is uh, 10.5 kilowatts, so hopefully these two numbers between my, the size of my roof and my house and the output of kilowatts that the solar roof creates, hopefully that'll give you a good idea on what to expect from a home of similar size. Of course, it is going to you know, vary based on your home size where you're located in the country and or the world and things like that and of course if solar technology uh, improves down the road this should only get better. Uh, now first off the most important thing how much did this roof cost me? Up front the roof is $41,000. Uh, that's $30,000 in PV tiles and that's $11,000 in glass tiles. So. A lot of solar tiles are sitting up there, but there's still a good amount of glass tiles. Now, for money back, uh, there was two sources of money back. One was uh, SREC credits, and the other one was a, uh, a Tesla rebate, because when they first measured my roof via, I, I guess, basically Google Maps, they estimated the size to be larger than it actually was, so they ordered more glass tiles than they actually needed. Uh, so there was a, a rebate back for that, for the correction of the price. So between the SREX and the rebate, uh, we are looking at $12,200 back. So we have to take that $12,200 and deduct it from the $41,000 uh, cost of the roof. So we get a net cost of $28,800. Now, $28,800 is, is still a good chunk of change. Uh, for some people, if it's your first roof on your house, it's probably more money than getting a new roof on your house. Uh, we'll get into that later uh, for me, but we're going we're gonna to keep that $28,800 in mind. Uh, now, we want to talk about uh, electric costs. On average, for 12 months, it was costing me um, roughly $400 for the month. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit higher in the summer. You know, I have a pool and things running. Um, and in the winter, uh, it was it's actually, you know, a little bit lower because, you know, we're not trying to cool the house and we have a, a wood stove, so we really cut down on, you know, any kind of electrical heating, uh, you know, appliances and things like that. So uh, we need to kind of calculate that in, though, into our total price. Yes, I know it fluctuates, and I know, you know, as the sun sets, we're obviously going to be using energy that we're not, you know, we're going to be taking energy from the grid instead of just producing our own. So, you know, some leeway on this, but it's going to be about uh, $4,800 uh, for me per year that I'm going to be saving. So, if we take the net cost of the roof, that $2,800, and we divide it by uh, the yearly savings of $4,800 for electric, uh, it comes out uh, pretty exactly, if not completely exactly, to six years worth of electric 
savings will pay for the remaining balance, that net cost of the roof. So I'll make up that $28,800 in the next six years because I won't be paying the electric bill for that money normally if I just had a standard roof. Now built into that $41,000 uh, initial cost, um, some other things were added uh, such as two skylights, 13 sheets of plywood, not, not just you know particle board, like solid plywood. Um, and of course they removed the two layers of original asphalt roof. Now, interestingly enough, uh, I probably would have needed another roof on this house in the next year or two, especially since you know we had so many bad sheets of plywood already. Um, it would have cost a significant amount of money to replace that. Uh, ballpark estimate from what I've seen is probably actually like $30,000. So it's kind of funny. It's going to cost me $2,880 for the next six years you know, to pay it off. But I would have shelled it out anyway uh, just to get a standard roof when I got my two uh, original roofs on this house replaced. So uh, just an interesting tidbit there and just kind of like my personal thing. Obviously, that's not going to be everybody's case. Um, another thing uh, we're going to just assume, just, just for funsies, is um, we're gonna assume that you already own an electric vehicle. Say you already have uh, a Tesla or, or whatever other brand um, and you already own it. How will owning a solar roof benefit you owning that electric vehicle already? Well, for me, we're driving about 17,000 miles a year. And when you add it all together, you're saving anywhere from about 2,100 to about $4,100 a year worth of gas. And uh, that's going to really help drive down the total cost of your roof uh, because by applying the gas savings and the electric savings uh, and, and you apply that to the net cost of the roof, you go from having to take six years to pay it off to only taking about three to four years to pay it off, which is pretty wild. And uh, you can really kind of see how it starts uh, compounding upon itself. Now, uh, a little bit extra, you know, while we're at it, uh, assume you're buying a Model 3. Say you're going to go buy a whole roof for your house and a Model 3. You know, oh, that's a lot of money to put out. And yes, it is a lot of money to put out. Uh, but the interesting thing is, uh, with an MSRP around uh, $38,000, um, with the net cost of the roof of... 28800 you're looking at about $64,800 for a Model 3 and a roof. Uh, now, if you, take, <laughs> if you take that and you divide that $64,800 by uh, your $7,000 worth of savings between your gas mileage savings and your home electric savings, um, it comes out to 9.2 years to pay it off on the high side. On the low side, you know, if gas prices go up, um, you will pay off the car and the roof in 6.9 years. Yes, 6.9 years. I just told you that it's going to cost me six years to pay off uh, the roof just on my household electric and even shorter if I if I add in an electric vehicle well you can buy a Tesla solar roof and a Model 3 and you can have them both paid off in as little time as 6.9 years completely or as long as maybe about 9.2 years uh, that's pretty wild uh, just from the savings on the roof between uh, well for me the state rebates um, and the government rebate of getting 26% off your federal income taxes, you're basically getting a free <laughs> Model 3. That's just, that's nuts. Um, I, I, wouldn't, I, I don't want to quite call it a giveaway, but it's kind of a giveaway. Um, I didn't think I would be printing money, but we're, we're printing solar money, and it's buying a roof and a car, and that's why I you know, name this video what it is, because essentially 
I've purchased a product that's going to completely pay for itself and it's still going to be in warranty. This roof has a 25 year warranty. I'm gonna pay it off in six years. And that's just mind blowing. Um, so <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed this so far. Uh, you know I do have a Model Y if, you, if you've seen it on the channel already. So we will throw that in real quick because we did do the math on it. Um, the Model Y is definitely a little more expensive than the Model 3, uh, but you're still looking at uh, paying off the whole Model Y and the roof in 9 to 11.6 years, uh, which is interesting because, you know, you're going to get the free car, but then the roof is still under warranty because it has a 25-year warranty. So still very beneficial, and I'm really um, excited to see, you know, how this goes long term. Obviously, these are just... Um, initial estimates and what I'm seeing so far and a lot of these numbers um, they're pretty exact to what you know I, I, I've actually rounded up on a lot of them just to make the math easy so technically they're a little bit lower than what I'm telling you here so as long as things go all right uh, things are gonna be very good uh, for me uh, you know in terms of just having everything going how you kind of want it to go uh, in life. So we'll see how it goes. You know, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> if it all goes south and we're in the red and the ship's sinking, I'll let you know. Uh, so other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys uh, checking out my videos. Uh, and as always, have a great day.